Hey, hey guys, it is Dallas Gordon here. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to stop by and talk to you guys about a very, very important topic. I told you guys that I would be talking more about the spiritual aspect in business. So I wanna talk about expansion today and why that's important for you to grow. So guys, if you're new to my channel, once again, my name is Dallas Gordon. I'm a spiritual business coach for impact-driven womanpreneurs. So if you are looking to um, get in alignment, learn attraction marketing, and dominate product sales in your industry, I just may be the mentor and coach for you. Um, don't forget to check the description box, guys, for the many different resources I have below and how you can connect with me further. I have a marketing training down below. I have Convert Like Crazy, which is a workbook to help you to convert more sales to your website. Um, and just so many free to pay resources. I also have an amazing Facebook group called Ecom for Women. Be sure to definitely hit that join button. Make sure you fill out all the information to get inside and get approved quickly. And that's about it, guys. So we're gonna get right into this video. So guys, every now and then, you know, and I'll use myself as an example first. Every now and then I get in very, very uncomfortable spaces you know, in my business and just in my life in general. And without, you know, the, the, the good thing about getting a little uncomfortable or seasons in your life where you feel uncomfortable, the good thing about those seasons is, is that they provide room for growth. I mean, if everything was always perfect in your life, guys, how would you um, recognize that something is wrong or that something is off or that something needs to change? So those highs and lows in your, in your life and in my life, you know, we need to learn how to um, embrace those changes and be more grateful in those different seasons because in each of those seasons, there are lessons. We have, you know, our low lows and we have our high highs, but at both points in our business, um, both places are very important for us to learn important lessons so that we can grow. And what's powerful about growing is that when we can grow, we can inspire other people to also grow, okay? We can motivate other people to also grow. And I know that there's someone out there listening who may not think that you are making your mark. You may not think that you are effective. You are posting, you are sharing, your, you are bearing your soul. You are doing all of the things behind the scenes that you need to do to win in your business and you don't feel seen. But I can pretty much promise you guys that there is somebody who is silently watching you, waiting for you to win so that they can have the confidence to do so as well. So success is your duty because it doesn't just affect you, but it affects all those people that are also connected to you. I say all this to say that expansion is important. Making room for expansion is important. Sometimes we have, there's way too much noise. We have way too much going on in our lives and in our businesses. Sometimes we are making so much room and so much time even for other people, but very little room for ourselves. And that's where this topic of expansion comes in. So I really, really, something just came to me the other day, guys, and I really, really want to use the example of a plant. So right now, my husband and my daughter, my youngest daughter, Micah, they took some apple seeds from an apple that she ate and she want, she asked whether or not she could plant those seeds into a cup and see if they would grow. So that's been a project that, you know, my husband has been doing with her. So they planted these seeds into a cup and they actually had two cups of apple seeds and one of the plants has been thriving. The other plant, not so much. Um, and... My daughter asked, you know, my husband, you know, dad, we've been watering this plant. We've been doing everything that we need to do for this plant. Why has this one plant over here not thrived like the other plant has? And he had to explain to her that sometimes what happens is, is that when the roots of the plant um, and when the plant begins to grow and it doesn't have enough room to kind of like spread its wings, the roots can become smothered and the, the flower itself or the plant itself can wither and die. And I want to use that same comparison to us, guys. We cannot grow um, stronger or larger or we cannot expand ourselves or our businesses bigger than we are willing to make room for. And that spiritually, mentally, and physically okay? We can't grow our businesses bigger than we will allow our mind to grow, 
okay? So sometimes there are some people, there are some circumstances and situations, and there are some things that you may have to remove, that you may have to take off of the plate in order for you to make room to expand, in order for you to make room for growth so that your growth is not suffocated, so that you are not becoming um, stagnant, okay, in your growth. And sometimes when there are too many weeds, there are too many roots on top of roots. Sometimes there are old ideas that we need to release and let go of so that we can make more room to expand, guys, in other areas of our life and business. And just to use like a per personal example, guys, probably about a year ago, I released my one-on-one -on -one higher ticket coaching that I had. I had contracts, coaching contracts that I was going through with different um, women entrepreneurs. And so where I would work with these women for three months at a time um, or six months at a time. And I had finally got to the point and I worked so hard, finally get to the point in my coaching business where I had people lined up to work with me for higher ticket prices. And it was amazing, right? But I felt a really, really strong inward pull to release that business so that I could create more of a business that fit my lifestyle, more of a business that I love. And at the time, it didn't make sense for me to release it. But after I did, my subscription box business was built. It very, very quickly replaced um, my income and surpassed my income that I had worked so hard for. And I'm now creating such an amazing business that fits my lifestyle more. If I hadn't released that, I wouldn't have had the spiritual energy or time to be able to birth this new thing. Um, more recently, I've had to release my tribe, the Profit Freedom Tribe. You may have heard me, if you've been a long time subscriber, you may have heard me talk about this was my membership, which was my training vault. We had a support group. This was pretty much my online academy um, for learning marketing strategies and things like that. I recently was impressed to also release that idea. And from that idea, I was probably making about $4,000, you know, every month reoccurring income and you know that that's probably not the most but that's nothing to sneeze at that's you know something that you can expect every single month so in my mind I'm like here I am again um, making more room for expansion releasing once again um, something that is actually paying me very well and but I had to follow through with that and there has been although there it was bittersweet for me I understood why I needed to do it in order to make more room to continue to grow um, my box business and other things that I needed to make more space for another thing I want to point out is that Sometimes we feel like when we have to release something, a part of ourselves or a part of our business that we have worked so hard for that we're losing and we're missing out because we worked so hard for it. And now, now what? Now what am I going to do with all this that I've worked hard for? And so instead of us facing forward and looking forward, what we do is we look back. We look into the past to try to preserve all the success that we've worked so hard for. What I want to tell you today before I go is, is that you don't lose cool points for all of the giving that you have done, for all of the sacrifices that you have made, for, for all the people that you have poured into. Just because you are shifting and going into a new season in your life and business, it doesn't mean that all the accomplishments that you made were done, all the things that you did were done for naught. Okay, you still get those points. Okay, those things still add up sort of like in your good bucket of abundance and you will still reap the many blessings from the seeds that you have sown. So it's not starting over. It's almost like starting from a better start line. Okay, so you gain from all of those wins, but it's so important to release the old and to make room for the new or to make room for what is coming and don't be afraid to do that. So guys, this is the importance of expansion and making room for more abundance in your life and just making room for more. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know if you're being led or called to do something similar. Let me know if you can relate and if this video has helped. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you wanna hear more, you're welcome to do so and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I drop a new upload. So, okay guys. Be blessed. Don't forget to connect with me in the description box. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.